What's up, Multiverse? Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. On today's video, we're going to be opening up the WrestleCrate UK August 2023 subscription mystery box. <sighs> Alrighty, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to me to the Geek Lounge. I'm finally back after my month long holiday in Canada. Guys, I had an amazing time. We visited Toronto, Edmonton, Calgary, Vancouver, and the Vancouver Islands. It was such an amazing once in a lifetime holiday. I do miss it already, but we are now back here, like I said, in the Geek Lounge, ready to open up the WrestleCrate UK August 2023 subscription mystery box. So let's waste no further time and get into it. And apart from the autographed item, I've honestly forgot what else was advertised for this box. But as always, we'll get the carded items out the way first, which I do have here. So that is the cheat sheet. Let's not look at that just yet. First up, we have like this one month kind of subscription thing that they normally give you uh, a code of some sort. We have enjoy tons of exclusive live streams and shoot interviews. Titlematchnetwork.com. I think it's the same. Ah, well, a little bit the same on both sides. But yeah, there's that. Next up, I normally do the pin and I've got it right here on the top. So let's see what we got this month. There we go, guys. On the back, it says cross face chicken wing. Let me just have a look at it here. That is pretty funny. We've been seeing a lot of these uh, kind of like wrestling maneuvers. What was it? Boston Crab last month. Can't remember off the top of my head what else we've had. But yeah, this is the cross face chicken wing. We don't have the chase edition. As you guys can see here on the back, there is a regular as well as a chase variant. The chase variant is the glitter. At least I think it's glitter. Uh, oh, it's actually covered up. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that says glitter chase edition there on the back. And for sure, my one is not the Glitter Chase Edition, just the regular version, but still a pretty cool pin. Right, what else is in here? We've got this poster tube, t-shirt, oh, a DVD. We haven't had a DVD for a while. Obviously the autographed item, maybe two autographed items in there. You know what? Let's get rid of the poster tube first because it is in the way. Which poster did we get this month? I can kind of see what it is from the back. Logan Paul and Ricochet. I think, was that from the Rumble? I'm pretty sure that's what that was from, right? Where they both kind of did that awesome moment where they dived across the ring just trying not to get too much glare there for you guys apologies for that but yeah that's a pretty cool poster and i just mentioned the dvd so we may as well do that now here it is i cannot tell from the back what it says uh big wavy roy johnson's everything patterned wrestling is that what's going on there not too sure what this is all about guy yeah big wavy roy johnson's everything patterned on the back warren banks versus levi muir uh, Libby Grace versus Ronnie Knox, the 87 versus East City Sovereigns, uh, Remy added Tunji versus Harrison Leon versus KM Lane versus Bruno Brown. Kind of sounds a bit like a British wrestling organization, at least some of those names do. But yeah, always cool to get a DVD. All right, I've actually found another little item in here, so let's see what this is. It is in some kind of pack. A wristband, maybe, or something. What do we have? Chew bubblegum and kick ass. So it's a um uh, they, uh, they live. Um, was it They Live? Obey? Yeah, They Live, right? The uh, Roddy Piper movie uh, directed by John Carpenter. So yeah, it is just like a, um, a wristband, essentially. So we've got, uh, yeah, on the one side there, Chew Bubblegum. If you guys can make that out, that's pretty cool. So from there, sort of Chew Bubblegum. And then on the inside out, we have And Kick ass if you guys can kind of read that with my awful sort of fiddling around with it that's pretty cool i like that i liked the movie as well all right three more items in here we've got the autographed item i think there are two autographed items at least two prints in here for sure and the t-shirt we'll go ahead and do the t-shirt next if it's as badass as last month's t-shirt which is this one guys i don't know if you can make it out the steve weiser one it's one of my favorite t-shirts possibly even my most favorite that i uh, have pulled from these mystery boxes I already like the look of it on the front, to be honest, like the, the design I can see at the moment. And I think I now remember who it was um, in terms of like it being advertised the month before. So there it is, guys. I really can't see for myself from here. Who do we have? Oh, barely, of course it was. Of course I remember. Barely Legal 97, uh, the first ever ECW pay-per-view. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, April 13th, 1997. Live on pay-per-view, Extreme Wrestling. Sabu versus Taz. Uh, oh, good God, what was the main event? I feel it was a triple threat match, was it not? 
Uh, Terry Funk, who sadly just passed away, you know, rest in peace. Bray Wyatt as well, rest in peace, man, too. Like, that was just a crazy last week with those, like, losing those two. Um, but yeah, it was Terry Funk, was it Stevie Richards and the Sandman, I think, in a triple threat match. Terry Funk won it to then face Raven for the ECW world title, if my memory serves me right. I was a big, big ECW fan back in the day. Um, yeah, big Sabu fan, big Taz fan. So, yeah, this is a really, really cool t-shirt for me. I will definitely be wearing this one, definitely be keeping it in the collection. I hope we get more like this in the future, especially ECW. All right, guys, there are definitely two art prints in here. I don't know if they are both signed. We'll save the one that I definitely know is signed till the end because that is the main event what do we have here then there we go so it is another signed art print mercedes is that mercedes martinez it is indeed mercedes martinez you know what that's pretty cool that's pretty cool to receive i don't know i'm getting a bit too much glare there for you guys so i hope that's uh kind of not too bad for you so you can kind of make it out a nice signature there as well silver pen yeah i mean it's not come out too bad sometimes the pen sort of runs out a little bit you get some of the streaks in there which has maybe happened with that but you know what that is still a really cool print to get uh in addition to the one that is coming next and that next one, guys, is the final item of this box, the main event. They do, of course, always advertise every single month which autographed item we're going to get. So we knew this one was coming, but it's still very cool nonetheless. Check it out, guys. We have a Wardlow signed art print. Wardlow, the former AEW TNT champion. It's kind of, I feel he's kind of... Like they've left him off a little bit, if that kind of makes sense, or he's kind of been written out for a bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Again, though, the signature, like... It's not bad, but for sure, we've got some pen streaks there, uh, some of the ink sort of running, which is not amazing, but you know what? It still stands out. I've certainly seen far worse than that in the past, uh, so I've got to be happy with that. I always love when they sign in the corner as well. Some people do sign on the body, and especially with these kind of grey style art prints that uh, the WrestleCrate UK produce, at least I believe it's them who are producing these, um, they kind of have like the grey scale, so when someone signs on silver, you don't always see it so well, but uh, yeah, when it's done in the corner, it does look pretty cool. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. I think Wardlow has still got a really bright future in the wrestling industry that's another really cool one to add to the autograph collection and that is the august 2023 box completely open up guys here is the cheat sheet with a shot of wardlow signing that art print let's just go for it real quick to make sure we got everything so we have wardlow autograph barely legal 97 t-shirt hot rod ring ropes i think that was the wristband from they live mercedes martinez autograph cross face chicken wing lapel pin rumble poster by kim Velasquez, everything pattern dvd and wrestle carnival for show and as always guys we get the advertisement for the autographed item that is going to be signed in next month's or technically this month's box which is september check this one out guys it's going to be a signed art print of lita i cannot wait for that was a big fan of lita back in the attitude era one of the pioneers of the women's division cannot wait for next month's box but that is it for this month's box guys and that is it for today's video so first and foremost thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the geek lounge it is very much appreciated and i hope you guys did enjoy the video if so be sure to give it a thumbs up and drop some comments below have everything pulled from this month's box which item was your favorite and as always we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys the wrestlecrate uk september 2023 subscription mystery box will be dropping the end of this month they normally ship out around the 25th 26th or 27th of each month so make sure you guys stay tuned for that i have an ultimate naruto kai unboxing i filmed this one quite a while ago before i left it was supposed to release while i was in canada but i just didn't get around to it but it is an awesome one nonetheless so make sure you guys check that out i've got tons of fungo bot parcels to catch up on tons of stuff have come in i mean i was away for a whole month right so you guys can imagine how much we have to show off all that coming next week make sure you stay tuned for all of that and more what is the easiest way to stay tuned you ask it's very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content Guys, thanks again for watching today's video, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, nerds!